Hello everybody, this is program 123 and today we're going to solve this problem that is named the case beautiful string. So in this problem they they're going to ask us for the height string from a list of strings and we are going to generate according to these rules for a given n that is going to be uh, greater than 2 we're going to write all the strings that, that are formed by a minus 2 letters a and 2 letters b in alphabetical order it means this this list of strings is going to be sorted so can we print the k string of the list well in the input we're going to have the number of test cases and for each test only one line telling us the values of n and k now how are we going to solve this problem? Well, first of all, let's apply the mathematical analysis. So here we have the sorted list for n equals 5. Here we have a, 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 b, b, there is the first string, until b, b, a, 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 there is the last one in alphabetical order. Now, what is the number of strings that we are going to generate? Well, let's analyze this as spots. So we are going to place two objects, in this case, the two letters B, in five spots. So for the first subject, we are going to have five available spots. Then for the other object, we are going to have only four, because we have already filled one spot. So what is the, what is the number of strings that we can generate with it? Well, it's n times n minus 1 divided by 2. Why divided by 2? Well, it's because these are equal objects and undistinctable. If we have if we have to play 0 and 1 instead of 1 and 1, we should have n times a minus 1. But since we are placing 1 and 1, we have to divide it by 2. Because when you have 0 and 1, these two arrangements are not equal. But but if you replace 0 by 1, then you are going to have two equal arrangements, so you are counting you are counting twice each arrangement. That's why you have to divide it by two. Well, that's the the, the the that's the mathematical analysis, but that doesn't seem to help a lot in this problem. So let's change our focus. Take a look at the positions of the of letter B from left to right. So first we are going to focus on the first, on, I mean on the second letter B in the string. As you can see on the first string, it's located in the first position from, from right to left. Then it's first, second, first, second, third, first, second, third, and fourth. And what about the first B, the first letter B? Well, it has the second, the second position from right to left, then third, third, fourth, 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 and, and fifth, 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 fifth. So can you see the pattern that we are that we are making with it? When the when the first B of the string is located on the second spot from right to left, the second B only have one position available. When this B is moved one position to the left, then it has two positions available. When it's moved, then it, it has three, and when it's moved again, it has four. So this is briefly sum of Gauss. We have one position plus two possible arrangements plus three possible, possible arrangements plus four possible arrangements and so on. So with this, anal with this analysis, we get to the total described previously, n times n minus 1 over 2, uh, divided by 2, which is sum of Gauss. So this is how we are going to solve the problem, using these indexes. OK, how are we going to code this? OK, I am using online compiler of CodeChef. Well, first we are going to read the test cases that we said we were going to have in the input. This is how I read test cases. Now, let's set variables long, long, n, and k. Now, we are going to start with this variable equal to 1. 
Why? Well, we are going to imagine that we are placing the first B on the second spot from right to left. So we have only one possible arrangement. Let's say K is equal to 5. And now we are going to simulate this. Okay, so is 5 greater than 1? Yes, it is. So it is not it is not in this range of strings when the when the first B is located on the second spot from right to left. So we gotta move the first B one spot one spot to the left and we gotta subtract one from k. Now in is going to be equal to two and k is going to be equal four. Now is four greater than two? Yes it is. So we gotta subtract four minus two is equal to two and then it's going to it's going to be 3. Now, is 2 greater than 3? No, it isn't. So we have we have finally found the range in which the in which our string is located. It is located when uh, in the range where the where the first letter B is located in the fourth spot from right to left. We know that. So we so according to this value in we are going we are going to place the first letter b and according to the remaining of k we are going to place the second letter b you're going to see how okay so here we have the string that is going to be printed at the end of the of our code and we are going to run a, a for cycle from from zero to n and we are going to take we're going to focus on these two positions, which are going to be the indexes of the of the spots where the two letters B should be located. The first one is going to be located in the, as we said in our example, in the in the fourth position from right to left. So it's n minus three minus one, and that is the fourth position from right to left. Now, as for the second B, we're going to to put it on the remaining of uh, variable k. So in this example, k was equal to 2. So we're going to place this on the second position from right to left. That's why we are going to assign a uh, letter b in both of these positions. The rest of them are going to be letter a. And that's it. We have, we only have to print the string that we have just made. That we have just created and run our program with the test cases provided by code forces okay here we have our answer in the first four test cases we uh, they are asking us for uh, for a string of length 5 so they are asking us for the first string the first string of, of length 5 the second string the eighth string and the tenth string so we are going to see if they are equal to the ones that we have right here so let's see well actually the first string should be this one then the second string should be this one if, if you remember that the second string is a a b a b a a b a b now they are asking us for the eighth eighth string so it's a B A A B A A string B A A B A and the tenth the tenth string well is actually this one and well that's it that's the code for this problem it was a hidden gal sum it's interesting to see it and I hope you guys like this video I hope you share it with the ones who need it and that's it for today guys so bye bye